In today's episode, you're going to see a 1968 Dodge Charger. Welcome everybody to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. If this is the first time you're coming to my channel, then welcome. I really appreciate you being here today. If you've been to my channel before, then welcome back. As always, I really appreciate it when you leave comments and feedback, as well as a thumbs up and for subscribing. It really does mean a lot to me, so thank you for that. In today's episode, you are going to see perhaps one of the most unique vehicles that I've ever seen in my life or even experienced. This is a 68 Charger, but it is different in every capacity. Um, how do I describe this car? I think the word I'm looking for is almost Frankenstein. It's been put together from parts of other vehicles and it's been built up by a gentleman by the name of Alan. It is definitely unique in every aspect. I don't think I've ever seen a car with as much welding on it, with uh, as much uh, zip ties on it, or it, it's unique in every aspect you can imagine. It is something that is like out of a movie set. That's the only way I can describe this vehicle. And when you think of a charger, it's not like your Dukes of Hazard charger. And it's not like um, Steve McQueen's charger from Bullet, but it's really more like a post-apocalyptic movie, like a Mad Max and beyond sort of vehicle. It's just so unique in so many ways that you have to see this car to understand what I'm talking about. Um, the gentleman who owns it uh, is really um, an incredible person. I had a great time talking to him, wonderful sense of humor, and we had a great blast doing this video. I think you'll enjoy it as well. So please, let's hop in, let's go for a drive, and let's check out this unique 68 sort of charger. Before you switch it off, let me hear the engine. Wow, it's a little louder than mine. Yeah. <laughs> Hope it'll start again after. Oh, well, you know what? I'll, I'll give you a jump start if I have to. <laughs> wow. So, Alan, what is this car? It is a 1968 Charger body on a 2006 Charger chassis. And uh, I've seen it done before on like Facebook, DodgeCharger.com, a couple TV shows. And what happened with the Charger body, I got from a junkyard in 2017. And they were right here in Mississauga? No, that was over in uh, Caledon. It was okay. at a place called Geifer's Auto Wrecking. And they had it basically as their sign advertising the, sh the junkyard since I think <laughs> the mid-90s it was. Wow. And it's funny because I've, I've lived in the area since 2001, never knew about this car, and I didn't find it out about it until 2017. I drove past it twice before like, I figured, you know what, let me go ask and see what, what could happen. And I talked to the owner, and he said, you give me a thousand bucks, you can have it, which if you saw the car, a thousand dollars is, you know, it's really borderline, but it was a fairly solid Charger top end. The, f the frame was junk, right. but the top half was okay. And again, with, by using a 2006 Charger chassis, I cut the body off the 06, welded the 68 to it, and now I have late model Hemi, five speed overdrive, independent suspension, four wheel just brakes. Uh, Basically, a late model Challenger dressed as a 68 Charger. My God. And when you got the car, like, was there an engine? Was, what was in the car? No engine. It was basically a stripped body. It was originally black with no vinyl roof and I think a black interior. It's kind of hard to tell. It didn't have a fender tag. But it was a black on black early 68. That's all I know about it. And it was in a crash. It was stripped by a body shop. And it was basically just used as a parts car for, to save many other Chargers. And funny thing with the body panels that are on this car, the fenders, the hood, uh, taillights, trunk lid, bumpers, they all came off of other parts cars that people stripped years ago and I just took their leftovers. 
So <laughs> it's basically just junk combined with more junk to make a pretty cool car. So you basically Frankenstein this car yeah. together. Like the fenders are actually 69 fenders that I drilled holes in to put the 68 markers. Trunk lids from a 70, hoods from a 68. Grill is a fiberglass 69 grill that was used for like the Dukes of Hazard movie in 05. Okay. The mold from that, and I yeah. cut out the center and put in a 68 coronet center. Uh, the dash, it's got a 68 dash pad on it. The seats are from a 73 Cuda. Uh, roll cage is just some custom tubing that was found in the scrap heap, basically. Most of the glass is actually Charger glass. The windshield's actually from a Roadrunner. The cowl is from like a 69 Super B or something like that. Oh my God. And uh, yeah, just little odds and ends from like, the uh, fog lights are actually off the Dodge Charger car, the late model. How long have you been working on the car then? I basically built it 2017, 2018, and then someone crashed into it at a gas station in 2018 and destroyed How the front. How could you miss this thing? I honestly, it was the weirdest car crash. You would, like, he backed into me and s scraped his oh side across God. it. Hey there, how hey, you doing? Man. That's awesome. Dude. Isn't that something? Oh, thanks. That's incredible. That's so mean looking. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I love it. Puts the fear of God in you just looking at the dog Pretty thing, much. doesn't it? Yeah. You're on YouTube, by the way. Is that okay? Uh, that's totally fine. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Welcome. That's, uh, <laughs> Welcome to the church parking lot. Um, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Wow. It's like, a beater, but I love it. Dude, it looks mean, man. Like, yeah. You've got like those Punisher vibes, or like. Yeah, uh, Punisher, Death like, Proof. Yeah, like very much. So how, how many? How many horse? I want to say 435, something like that. It was originally 345. Uh, different cylinder heads, different intake, different headers, different cam. I imagine it's making around there, but I never dynoed it. So are you just doing like a like a like a video for right now? Or? Yeah, he uh, wanted to do one. Uh, he loves filming these old cars. I it's called Classic Car Chit Chat. Check yeah. it out on YouTube. Can we look at the engine, Al? We can, but you got to help me lift off the hood. Really? Fair yeah. Well, there's a, yeah, there's a, there's a oh, smart yeah. young fellow right we'll there. We'll just throw it on Perfect the roof. Perfect timing. On the roof. Oh, it's like a detachable. Yeah. Just pull the pins. Okay. And uh, we'll lift the front. Okay. And uh, don't worry about scratching anything. <laughs> so, <laughs> Why is yeah. that? Don't worry. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then pull up the back here. There we go. There we go. I, I get 10 cents of you, right? <laughs> wow. There you go. Yeah. Look at this thing. Did you take it on the track ever? Or? Honestly, I think I basically just got running well less than a month ago. Like, I had to put cooling parts on it. I like, that. I like the beat up outside and the engine looks like it's been taken care of real good. Yeah, I honestly I had to put like three grand into the engine between yeah. heads. I had to put valve covers on just because of the new heads. What, what year? This is a 68 Charger yeah. with a 06 motor in it. So this is like the same motor you would have gotten like a Hemi Challenger, RT Challenger Charger, yeah. Chrysler 300. Cool. So okay. how, what, what liter is the engine? Is that this is called 5.7, which 5 is actually 345 cubic inches. Okay. Wow. And uh, yeah. What's interesting, well, what I find interesting is that uh, I tried to make it look as classic as possible while still retaining the uh, modern computer and stuff like that. Yeah. So it still has a throttle body, which is actually from the modern car, but it's mounted on an old school intake by a company called OCP that basically designed it to do this. So you could put a carburetor on it, you could use factory fuel injection, and they make an air horn to actually mount the scoop properly to this, but it's out of stock because of COVID. So I basically just fabbed up, it's like a, a regular retainer for like an air filter, and then this is a piece of diesel exhaust tubing that's designed to go from five inches to three and a half, which is matches up the carburetor flange to the uh, air intake flange. And basically this is just a uh, transmission uh, mount to help give it rigidity for now, so it doesn't blow away basically. Wow. And obviously this butterfly is not hooked up because uh, there's no carburetor or linkage to activate it, yeah. but hopefully someday there will be, you know, once I get more money. But, How long uh, have you been working on the car then? Basically since 2017. I haven't really stopped. I mean, the last... See you, you man. Too. Thank you. Basically, um, I, I rebuilt the engine over the winter. I actually pulled this thing back out of the junkyard. I bought it in 2017 from the junkyard, built it in 2018. When it got on the crash, okay. I sent it back to the junkyard, not to get crushed, but basically a storage. Right. And I figured, okay, I'll find parts to rebuild. I basically put a, new, a different grill, and it's a fiberglass grill. It's not a real one. I believe I changed the front bumper, and this fender is the one that got smacked. I just bonded it up pretty good. It got shoved, this fender got shoved into the cowl, and that's why I had to replace the cowl. At a gas station. At a gas station, and the hood got damaged. Yeah, I was, I literally- How is that even possible? Like, so, <laughs> so basically I parked kind of like here, right. and there's a guy in front of me, 
And I was trying to be responsible instead of like texting and driving. I pulled that and me and a friend were looking at it for a place to eat. So we we're on Google Maps. And we we're both looking at our phones thinking, oh, hey, wings, you know, burgers, whatever. And I feel something hit the car. I'm like, well, I look up and this guy backed up from here sideways and hit the whole side of the car and scraped his, the side of his car up against it. And me and my friend kind of looked at each other like, what the hell just happened? How does that even what are the happen? chances of that? And then uh, I got out and looked at him. I'm like, well, what the hell? How did, this, how did you accomplish this? And he looked at me. He was like, oh, it's all right. I'm like, what the fuck? What? Me, it's all right. You hit me. And then, like, he drove off, and, like, so my friend took a picture of his license plate, and he drove back and came back around. He's like, is something wrong? I'm like, yeah, there's something wrong. You hit my car. And uh, basically, he, he continued to drive. It was, like, some crappy, like, Toyota Yaris, you know, hatchback thing. Oh, like, don't get me going on Yaris. So if yeah. there's one car I hate, it's the Yaris. Yeah. Like the Toyota Echo, whatever the hell that yeah, is. Yeah, just a little tiny, little crummy Toyota hatchback. And I called my insurance, and they're like, well, it's private property. You can't really do anything. Cops can't get involved. It's pretty much you help fix or you guys fix each other's cars. I'm like, well, that sucks. Like, what's the hell the point of having insurance? But anyway, um, I couldn't afford to fix it at the time because it needed a hood, it needed a grill, it needed a fender, it needed a cowl, and uh, I don't know. I put it back in the junkyard just for storage until I found those things. And I wouldn't say I forgot about it, but I got busy with work. Sure. And so a year, basically all of 2019 passed by. And then COVID happened for 2020. And I'm like, you know what? Let me go dig out my car. So in December, I went back to the junkyard, had it towed to my shop that I work at. And uh, I built it over the winter because it was the slow months. I uh, redid the engine. Basically, it sat. So I had to go through the engine. And I decided to make more power while I was at it. I had to replace the, fan the panels, like I said. I completely gutted the interior, which is why it's stripped out now. Right. Uh, changed the wheels. Did some a little bit of body work. Because while it sat, it rusted. It sat in a field, so it rusted the rockers. And... Uh, the trunk floor and some things like that and I mean I mean it, it needs a restoration but again it's a 68 body on an 06 chassis so like it's it, a work in progress yeah it's like, hard to well, restore what's the plan ultimately when you get this thing done you're gonna keep it sort of the matte black finish because I would personally like to keep it matte or satin black because yeah. I just think it looks evil right uh, a friend of mine trying to convince me to get it gloss black, but I feel like if it was pretty, I wouldn't be sticking the hood on the roof. It's, you know, it's like I a combination be... of Mad Max. It's got everything rolled into this car. Like yeah, it's... I was told it's like got a real nice Mad Max vibe. And honestly, I like it because, like I said, like it is an 06 car, so it's got the electric fans. The fuel, it's funny because uh, with all the modifications, I haven't tuned the computer. Right. So it still thinks it's a bone stock Dodge Charger from 06. It doesn't know it has like a a dual uh, plane intake it doesn't know it has a different cam it doesn't know it has headers but uh it does run okay so are you a mechanic though? yeah i'm a certified mechanic i'm okay. not licensed basically i went to college but i didn't do the uh, test yet okay. basically that's a no whole nother story so you know what you're doing so yeah i'm like who just drives it makes it look pretty but that's yeah about yeah it. okay and actually that's what i prefer i mean like i know a lot of people that love to make their cars look pretty and i got nothing against that but i, I definitely like to make them go faster run better yeah. you know burn tires and just, wow. you know. Can I take a look at the inside? Go for See it. There's not much got? in there, though. Basically, um, that's the late model shifter, and it controls <laughs> the computer. Wow. And the old school shifter controls the, the valve body. So that's the mechanical cable, and that one's the computer. And hopefully someday I'll figure out something to only have one shifter, being that one. I was thinking of rigging up a toggle switch to go between neutral or drive. Or to, uh, there are many companies that make aftermarket controllers like Holly does, and there's another one I can't remember the name of, but uh, they're working on one. They haven't quite got it, but I'm on a waiting list for when they do get it done. Do the gauges work? They do, and unfortunately, they think I'm never wearing my seatbelt ever, so it does ding for like the first five minutes <laughs> of driving. And, and the, the holes at the bottom, that's air conditioning, is it? You've uh, those are so I that? know where the curb is, so I never ah, curb I it. See. I just look over and I can right. see the curb. Absolutely. Pay extra for that. It'll yeah, but it's also good water drainage because it leaks pretty badly in here with, sure. when it rains. And, uh, yeah, it never really stays. just goes through all the holes in the floor. And you got a spot for your toolbox back there, Yeah, too, toolbox. Okay. I always have a toolbox in a classic car, even though this isn't really a classic. But I always keep a toolbox with me. Wow. That gas tan is necessary. And uh, this is what? Just sheet Just metal? some sh stainless steel I found laying around in a scrap pile. I cut it to the shape of a door panel and tech screwed it in. It's not the quite the right length, but, I mean, it's free. So I've got to ask you, Alan, is this legal to drive this thing? <clears throat> okay, we'll skip that one. Yes. Moving to the next question. How big is the, uh, the space in the back there, in the trunk? Uh, what it was bigger there? originally. I had, like I said, it rusted, and so I raised up the, uh, the, um, the trunk floor 
basically, this actually had a big oh, wow. pan in it, which is where the uh, 06 spare tire would have been. And it rusted because that's where the battery originally was. And so I raised it up with a piece of sheet metal. This tank actually isn't doing anything. It was supposed to be like a backup plan, but I never actually hooked it up. What was the intent of that? Sorry, I missed that. Okay, so basically, this is obviously where you put gas in, right. and it runs parallel to get to the tank. Yeah. And it can sometimes like st sit still in there. Okay. And then it backs up. And so I was hoping to like go from there to there into the uh, 06 tank, and I never really got around to it. Okay. Also, I found a <laughs> screwdriver. Oh, you're looking for that bad boy. There she yeah. is. Wow. Yeah. But, uh... This is quite the charger. Yeah, I know. It's not worth anything, but it's fun to me. Well, it's worth a lot to you, though. It's a, a thing of passion. It's a work in progress. Well, I like the fact that I could drive the crap out of it and not worry about destroying a $50,000 museum piece. Yeah. And it has all the speed of, like, an old-school Hemi charger, but with none of, like, the sentimental attachment where I'm like, oh, man, this is, like, a $150,000 car. I hope I don't scratch it. <laughs> well, if you scratch it, it'd be hard to tell where the scratch occurred, wouldn't it, really? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of why I like it. I mean, I, I painted this thing in 2017 with some spray cans, so... And uh, it was red primer before. But My body was blue. To be honest, it's got a charm all by itself, just the way it looks. Yeah, I love it. Like, uh, again, like, my friends keep convincing me to paint it. I'm not against it, but I kind of, like, if I paint it black, it's just another black charger. And also, if I paint it a good quality black, then I'm not going to want to do fun stuff with it. Like, uh, there's a dent in the other quarter panel for me running over some stuff on my friend's property just out of boredom. <laughs> something to do? Yeah, yeah just something to do. Wow. This is really quite something else. I don't think I've ever quite seen a car like this. Yeah, it's definitely uh, unique. I mean, granted, more people are doing the uh, late model charger swap because there's a lot of rusty charger, roadrunner, coronet bodies out there that are dirt cheap, but there's nothing you can really do with them when the frame's rusted. I mean, yeah, sure, you could restore it, but if it's only a 318 car or a 383 two barrel, it's not worth it as if it was like a Hemi or a 440. Are so, these winter tires? Yes. Oh. Absolutely. I got the wheels and tires for 600 bucks, oh, and they came with tires, right. so I just accepted it. They smoke up just as good as normal tires. My God. So you ever did a zero to 60 on this thing? Yeah, but uh, it just burns tires for most of the way. Really? Okay. So no drag race between you and me, then. We'll, we'll give that a skip this time, then. I'm down. No, 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 it's all right, it's all right. Uh, we'll, you know, let, let's not get silly about it. <laughs> Okay, can we take it for a little drive? Sure, you wanna help me put the hood back on? Yeah, let's do it. Let me put this down. Let's try and get. Oh my God, this bloody thing weighs a ton. Yeah, it weighs 120 pounds. I and mean, that was before I cut the hole in it though. Okay, so, that again, no first. hard feeling, yeah. Hold on, yep, seconds on. Hold on, yep, seconds on. Okay, we'll lower it. You got that for a Yep. Watch your fingers. A little bit that way. Let me see Needs if I can get it. Needs a tad more forward. Okay, let me see Needs if I can get it. Needs a tad more forward. All right. Oh, here. So we'll lower the front. We'll get the front into the pins first. And I'll go to the back for a second. Yeah. Five hours. Five hours later. Yep. There we go. Just need a good smack. That? Yeah. There we go. Just need a good smack. That? Yeah. So here, you could hold from here and go to the side. Lift so up. Doing this? Yeah. It yeah, checking so the UI is kind of a pain, yeah. Is it, is it better to get the back end in first? Um, Hold there on. you go. I slides. got my side. Okay. It just slides forward, though, right? That's the point. Yeah. Okay. You yeah, tell me when it lines up. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, you yeah, tell get... me when it lines up. Yep. There you there go. You go. Wow. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad at all. Now, whether you wear your seatbelt or not, I will yell at you. Oh, I don't think it's closed. Let's lift up on it a touch. Again? Yeah. Water? Hey, lift up on it. Or is it closed? Wait. Yeah, good enough. Okay. Oh. Is there a seatbelt or no? Oh, yeah. It's somewhere in there. Yeah, hold that. Sure. Got it? There we go. Boy, I feel so much safer now. All righty. I'm sure I could find drive. It only slightly rubs on the fender. Oh, it's got a chop all by itself, my friend. Yeah. So long as it keeps running. Where would you like to go, left or right? Let's go left. All right. Oh, yeah, it will continue yelling at us for quite a while. That's that seatbelt thing. Yeah. Well, there are other things to complain about. Yeah, I mean, like... I've tactically hidden the engine light with this piece of metal so I can never see it. <laughs> Traction control is busted, airbags are broken, seatbelts, warning light, high beams are broken. It thinks my tires are flat at all times. There's about 37 check engine lights, only two are important. Um, okay, so when I called you earlier and you couldn't hear what I was saying, just know right now, yes. Yes, yes. You're going to turn right here. Got it. Like another half an hour? Uh, I want to say five minutes. I usually zone out and don't and ignore it. Uh, it does go away at some point in our lives. You need to stay here when you go all this distance. Yeah, I know. It's the warning light that really sets it apart. But you know, in every action movie, there's always a red light beeping at you for something catastrophically going wrong. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that's exactly what this is. Yes. It's always exciting. I think in Mad Max, there's a fuel warning light, which I do have, of all the things that do still work. How many man hours did you, would you say you put into this? Uh, that's a good question. They were all very half-assed hours. If I had a thousand hours into, put into it, I'd round it down to 500. Because like I knew it wasn't a show car, and if I did perfection, it's still an 06 charger combined with a 68 charger. No true enthusiast really wants that. But I didn't really build it for true enthusiast. I built it to have fun, go fast, be somewhat reliable. It gives it for yourself. It yeah. Uh, gives you pleasure, and that's all that matters. Although it, dis it only decides to start when it really feels like it. There's no rhyme or reason. It's got a brand new battery. The starter's brand new. Yeah. It really just decides when it's, r when it's right to start. So she's a little bit temperamental. Yeah. OK. Like all fine cars. Yes. That's, that's normal. You pay for that little extra feature. Yeah. I mean, the intake air temperature sensor is held in place with a zip tie. Oh, okay. Any particular color? Does yeah, it it's a black zip oh, tie. Yeah, they work better with the heat. Yeah. So you've thought a lot about the, uh, the matching the colors and all those things, too. Oh, yeah. If they had flat black zip ties, I would have bought them. Yeah. Well, that's very courteous of you. Uh, if it's stalled, I didn't want to break down in front of them. <laughs> We turn right here. Alright. You might get the odd funny look, what do you reckon? Uh probably. Honestly, if it is a funny look, there's doing the right thing. Yeah. Yeah, you got a few looks. Yeah. And we'll turn right again here. Alright. It is a nice day, though. It's perfect. Too bad I'm ruining it for all these people. 
The third brake light works? Uh, probably. It worked the last time I checked. Yeah, it looks, looks like it does. I put a third brake light on all my old cars because nobody really seems to, or everybody seems to expect a third brake light and nothing else. Is there another right or is it straight, yeah, sir? I'm going to go right here. Okay. Um, which other cars have you owned in the past? So I have, this is a 68. I have a 69 Charger. I have a 72 Charger. I have a 69 Camaro. Uh, I had a 78 Trans Am with a Pontiac 400. I sold that to a buddy of mine who really wanted it. And I didn't really have the room for it anyway, so he kind of helped me out, I guess. Um, so, so where do you keep all the cars? Uh, various places. I have a 65 Buick. I completely forgot where that is. Good Lord, Al. Yeah. So you got more than one car for each day of the week, almost. Yeah, but only three of them run. Ah, OK. Is there another car you're thinking that you'd like to get if you ever found it? Like a 73 MG or something like that? I would like uh, a 68 through 72 El Camino, mostly because it is a pickup truck. I can really use one of those in my life. Right. But I also don't really want to just do the Ford F-150, uh, you know, Chevy Silverado thing. Plus, I could fix it if it breaks down, so I'm not against it. And the El Camino, no relation at all to Breaking Bad? Uh, maybe a little bit. A little bit right. I think there was a movie called The Mexican as well that had like a 68 or 69. Well, Very if it's cool. good enough for, uh, for Jesse Pinkman, it's got to be good enough for you. Yeah, if it's good enough for a drug dealer, it's good enough for me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Would you like to go left or right? We'll go left. Got it. That turn signal doesn't work, but... Oh, um, okay. Then you just wave in that direction? Yeah, it was a left arm signal, right? Yeah. Remember back in the day? Yeah. Surprisingly drives kind of smoothly. Yeah, like it is an 06 car. It has like McPherson suspension. It's got front and rear sway bars, four wheel disc brakes. Um, every rattle and squeak you're hearing is simply because it's got held together with 1968 metal. Yeah. And duct tape. Yes, duct tape, pop rivets, tack welds, anything that will hold it together. Right. And zip ties. Oh, yeah, I love duct tape. Black? No, nah, it's gray, unfortunately. Actually, you know what? Some of it is black. Okay, some of it's okay. the gorilla tape. No, you went all out on the, uh, the tape, but yeah, no, no expense fair. No, no, nah, nah, that's like a $10 roll of tape right there. I'm actually really impressed the way it drives. I'm impressed it's still running. <laughs> Yeah, that's basically what it used to be. Okay. And why older cars, Alan? Like, you're a young fellow. Why, why the passion for old cars? Uh, when I was like, I want to say eight years old. Turn, turn left right here. Uh, yeah. There was a guy on my street who had like a 79, I'm going to say, Trans Am. It was like a burnt orange color, really faded. Uh, faded bird on the hood. Had like Krager SS wheels in the back and God knows what in the front. Yeah. And it was modified to the nines. No idea what the heck was in it, but it just always intrigued me, whatever the heck this car was. And when I find out, fa finally found out what it was and knew it was a muscle car, I wanted to know more about them. And I found old TV shows. I think back then there was a uh, Speed TV had something called The Lost Drive-In. Okay. And they would play old movies like Gone 60 Seconds, Bullet, Vanishing Point. Yep. And I was just intrigued by these like old, uh, like, high-performance cars that you never see anymore. Right. And, uh, couldn't afford any because right about the time I got my license, Barrett Jackson hit its peak. And you know, anything with a V8 was like 50 grand in decent shape. Yeah. And uh, you know, then I found out about how two shows like Power Block TV and how they would throw things together and get them running again. And I figured, how hard would that be? And it's actually very hard, <laughs> but I uh, definitely have an interest in it. Good for you. And you always wanted to be a mechanic? Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, Definitely a hard uh, way to make a living, but it is rewarding. For sure. But, Especially uh, when, you, when you actually get it running and it sounds yeah. right. Oh, yeah, it was great getting this thing running. We're driving it for the first time. I had no windshield when I first drove it. I, I love the gauges, too. Uh, those are stock, like, late model Chrysler LX gauges. They, they look as though they're painted on. I'm surprised they even work, to be honest. Yeah, the cool thing is you can actually touch them. Oh, wow. So, like, now i got a full tank of gas. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, and I can have the engine ice cold. Yeah. Uh, and you had AC built into the bottom there, so you're, you're, all, you're all good there. The AC did work. I ripped it out to, for more power, and also because I broke it. 
Hey, this steering wheel looks like mine. Yeah, this is a company called NRG. Yeah. They're probably the only company that make an adapter to fit the 05 to, I think, 2010 okay. Chrysler LX car, which is Charger, Challenger, 300 Magnum. And that's the only way you could get, like, a classic-looking wheel in these cars. And I don't know the part number, but uh, I do know they still make that, hopefully. Beautiful. I am really impressed with this. Impressed is a nice word for it. No, you've done a great job. And it's, it's, it's still running. To talk about yeah, like it's yeah. it's. I've never seen a car quite like this. I tell you what, though, when you've got it to the point where you think you're done with it before you decide to sell it, whatever, let's shoot another video. Sure, it'll probably look exactly the same. It'll just be more reliable. <laughs> more zip ties and more duct tape. Yeah, like I just remember the one holding the shifter together. I hope oh. that holds. Oh yeah, that that looks good. Yeah, pretty sturdy. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I'll, Thank you so much. Yeah, thank I you. I really appreciate it. Yeah. This has been a blast. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. I didn't know what the hell I was expecting. Oh, I still don't know what I'm expecting. <laughs> I just hope it makes it back. Well, you know what? The seatbelt actually never held throughout the whole thing. So there you go. <laughs> oh, okay. It's actually from a go-kart. <laughs>